season, there's never been anyone on American Idol like our next guest. This is your star right here, James Durbin. You sing from where you're supposed to sing from, from feeling, from heart. These are going to go on to great heights as high as you sing, my brother. Rock on! Don't you forget about me. I'll have what he's having. <laughs> it was magical. Totally magical. He did it. He slayed it. He slayed it. From Santa Cruz, Hi, America. I told you backstage I was heartbroken. Ooh, it's vodka. No, it's not vodka. <laughs> I was heartbroken that you were sent home. I don't understand it, and uh, I really, early on, I picked you to win the whole thing, so wow. I was wrong about that, but I think you're uh, amazing. You. I think you're amazing. You. So it's been a few days. How, how are you feeling now? I feel really good. You know, I, at this point, I think no other number would have been better for me than number four. Yeah? It just, it just feels great. You know, I get to come here. I get to be here. I get to do... I've gotten to do all these amazing things just in the past couple of days. I got to, I got to go to New York. I'd never been to New York. <coughs> uh, just having a blast, And really. you got to go home. Usually it's just the top three. How did you do that? Uh, my hometown of Santa Cruz was so supportive and so awesome. Oh, locals. <laughs> What's up, Bay Area? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Santa Cruz is so awesome, and there's so much support there that for the first time in Idol history, um, you know, American Idol let me go home and let me have a homecoming, and over 30,000 people showed up. Wow. That's must have felt amazing. I mean, you know you have the support. You really, you, ha you have so much talent, but uh, what's more impressive, I think, and I think that's why people are so blown away by you, is you have Tourette's and you have Asperger's. Is that the right? That's yes. the name of it. And, and you were diagnosed when you were how old? I think I was about 10. 10 years old. And so I, I can imagine your entire childhood was getting picked on, getting bullied, getting, mm -hmm. and to overcome it and to, to be an example for either kids out there or parents who have had kids that have been diagnosed to say, look what you can do with your life. I mean, look what you can do. Yeah. That's got to that's gotta feel so good. It really is. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's so special and just so heartwarming to know that, you know, n not only am I going on this show to, you know, to try and fulfill my dream, but I'm also going and I'm, and I'm able to be a voice for people, for some people that, that feel that, that it's hard or that they're too afraid to speak up, or speak out, that it's okay to be different, it's okay to be, you know, weird or a freak or this and that. You know, I embrace it. I'm freaky. I'm different. Different's the new normal. I think, I think that is the best reason to be on television, is to not, I mean, to entertain, obviously, but to be an example and to say uh, we're, we're all different and, uh, and to help kids out there to feel better about themselves. So, um, good for you. I think you're fantastic. All right, we're going to take a break. And uh, when we come back, uh, the season finale of American Idol, by the way, airs next Tuesday and Wednesday night at 8 on Fox. And, uh, and you're going to sing for us. We'll be right back. With every mistake, we must show. 